Good morning, YouTube. It's Riding with Rick, and I'm Rick. It is about 7.40 in the morning, and I am taking a ride up to Bald Eagle State Force, i.e. Sunbury, Pennsylvania. And I thought I would give a 10,000 mile review of ownership of a 2018 Honda Goldwing GL1800 Tour model. And um, need to gas up and get going. So let's, uh, let's get on the road here. Okay, so it's been uh, one year of ownership, 10,000 miles. I've ridden this bike, uh, I'm riding this motorcycle like I used to when I was 20 years old. Let's put it that way. Like for instance, today is, you know, I'm just, I just got up early and I'm going for a 400 mile ride. Uh, do that on a Harley Davidson Street Glide, which is the bike that I came out of. You'll be in traction. I just wanted to kind of review this motorcycle um, after 10,000 miles of ownership. I've not had any mechanical problems with this bike. I have had Bluetooth connectivity problems. Um, not, not to the point where, you know, I've abandoned the technology. Um, I know some people have hung a GPS off the handlebars and opted not to like go with a, you know, like a Senna or a Cardo headset. But that seems to be the biggest gripe with this motorcycle is the Bluetooth connectivity. Have I found it, um, the connectivity to be an annoyance? Yes, it, it, it is annoyance, but once you get it connected, you're good. You get around this truck here. So, I'll say this is that I had some issues, some quirky things like my Bluetooth, my bl Let's talk about the Bluetooth connectivity. So just by dumb luck, I was using, like originally I was using just like a standard, uh, you know, iPhone, Apple iPhone for CarPlay. You know, this thing down here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, you know, like a three foot cable that I'd have to, you know, wrap up. And so I ordered a, a shorter cable and just by dumb luck, it's a, a lightning sync cable for iPhone. It's, it's a flat cord, not round. And it made all the difference in the world. As far as connectivity goes, you know, I turn my headset on, turn the bike on, get my headset to connect, and then plug in the iPhone, and iPhone will connect. But I had some like quirky little things like my windshield, all of a sudden, one day, on one ride, would not go up or down until I stopped the bike and restarted it. And then I guess about a week later on another ride, which was very concerning, I was following a route and the, the screen froze. It, it was still navigating me, but I couldn't use the home button to pop to this screen. I couldn't, um, you know, get into... Uh, you know, if you hit the enter button, either on the handlebar or here, until I stopped the motorcycle and restarted it, then everything was fine. It's very con disconcerting. Now, I was reading on the forum that there was a member on there that was having all sorts of problems with Bluetooth connectivity, and he was advised by a Honda tech to reinstall the 2020, the July 2020 update again, even though he had previously installed it. So I decided to give that a try. I mean, I figured it wouldn't, hurt, it doesn't hurt, you know, and uh, but the one glaring thing was um, when I initially got this motorcycle, you know, you would you would connect Apple CarPlay, plug your phone in, you get a prompt, you know, say, do you want to connect just this once? Um, do you want to connect always after installing pr subsequent, subsequent updates, I never saw that prompt again. 
Well, I, not, I didn't see it. When I did the July 2020 update initially, I did not get that prompt. Second time I installed it, I got that prompt. Now, I just didn't take the software that I had downloaded like, you know, two months ago. I re-downloaded it this morning. I'll see if the, the windshield issue repeats or the screen freezing, but like connecting to like Apple CarPlay, just make sure my headset is connected to the bike. You know, whether I turn the bike on before turning the headset on or vice versa, it doesn't matter. As long as my headset is connected to this bike and I plug in that lightning cable to my iPhone, Apple CarPlay connects. So mechanically speaking, I've not had any problem. Connectivity problems, yeah, Bluetooth, and I know that's a common complaint. All right, let me get into some of the dislikes. You know, not every motorcycle is perfect. And being that this is the first year of the 6th Gen Wing of 2018, I really didn't expect it to be. The suspension is, um, in my opinion, it's it, it could be a lot better as far as comfort goes, but then it kind of goes against the grain of really what this motorcycle is. Like I said, it's not a long, cushy uh, touring machine like the previous Gold Wings. It is more of a sport touring motorcycle. I did change out the seat to the Mus uh, Mustang. Um, you can check out my review on the Mustang seat. It's very detailed and in depth. Um, it is helped with the suspension, which I think is, in my opinion, under damped and under sprung. Um, so do I think that the Honda could have like introduced a better seat on this motorcycle? Absolutely. But it, but the stock seat had to go, and it has improved the ride uh, tremendously as far as long distance riding. I got, I'm going out on a 400 miler today, and um, I just took my first stop after 160 miles. Um, no problem. I couldn't do that on that Harley Davidson. No way. All right, let me go over uh, another dislike I like the, about the bike. Well, first of all, the button layout. Um, is very well done. I mean, there's people complain about like the position of the horn button, but you know, my muscle memory, I, I practice like the first, and I practice all the time, whereas I move my thumb and I know where to, my thumb is on that horn button at all times. It's all just repetitive muscle memory. But I think the button layout is very intuitive. Um, I know where everything is. But what I don't like, and I, I understand, you know, Honda is selling this motorcycle around the globe. And there's certain regulations that they must meet, etc. But the built-in safety features of this motorcycle, like for instance, I can't, I can't operate the jog dial. You know, I can you know, change the volume, but I can't. There's certain things I can't do. I can't go into like audio settings while the bike's moving. Um, I find that, I mean, I can walk and chew gum at the same time. And I understand why Honda does it. You know, it's a, just like in a car, you know, you can't, like some cars, you can't even like set a destination on the GPS while the car is moving. Um, I find it a pain in the ass. Uh, I, like, I, like I feel like I'm handicapped. I don't want to stop the bike. Um, to be able to like change certain settings like if I understand it um, that's a dislike uh, I'm not let me see what else do I like about this bike um, the seating position is uh, like I said I'm a Harley I was a Harley guy and I was a cruiser guy for you know 30 years and I found out that like initially like uh, sitting in a like almost like a seating position where your your feet are a little more forward and you're kind of like lazed back a little bit. Initially it feels much more comfortable but in the long haul I, I'll say another thing that I do like about this bike is the brakes. Brakes are really good. Um, but I found that the seating position 
And I shouldn't have turned there. I should have actually just followed my GPS. Um, but I found the seating position initially uh, with my legs kind of tucked under. Um, I didn't think I'd really like it. Um, I'm not a, you know. Now, hot guys that ride gold wings, they're used to it. They're used to the seating position. I'm just not. And um, I went through some, like, major knee pain. Um, I went through a lot of knee pain and uh, leg discomfort. And, and I got through it by, like, actually, like, you know, doing some uh, exercises on a regular basis to, like, strengthen, you know, certain muscles in my knees and stuff like that. Um, I do find that um, my knees, my knees uh, will be a little sore um, just from being in that tucked up position. But in the long haul, though, um, it's a more ergonomically correct riding position. Okay, so let's see. I went over the suspension uh, seat. Uh, safety features, well, luggage capacity, but, you know, then again, I mean, in small, you know, the cruise man bitched about, you know, the, tr you know, he really hates the trunk smaller. And if Honda only made the trunk an inch bigger, he could fit his big size lid, uh, girlfriend's lid into the trunk. Well, you know, then then comes the guy with the 3XL melon head that says, oh, it, it needs to be two inches bigger. And next thing you know, you know, you're making it into a, a fifth generation gold wing trunk. So, you know, where, where does it stop? You know, everybody has their their wish list and it goes back to the. It goes back to gold wing owners just being like just. You know, I wish this, I wish that, I wish that. When they don't really realize that they're they're probably riding the most refined motorcycle on the planet. I mean, is there is there a better motorcycle out there than this? Probably. Um, it checks all the boxes for me. It suits my riding. It's not for everybody. You know, if you want a if you want a big long touring motor cushy motorcycle that you know, you and your better half can pack the kitchen sink on and just ride and ride and ride. Um, this is not the bike for you. I'm just going to tell you. Uh, can it do it? Of course it can. But can it do as well as a previous generation Goldwing or a Harley Davin, you know, Ultra? Nope, it can't. And it doesn't pretend to do that. Although people will try to make it pretend. They'll try to sit there and compare it to that bike are those types of bikes and it just it's not it man it's just not um i really can't think of any other annoyances and i'm not going to get into the gps because i did a whole other video on that and not that not that i'm going out of my way of defending you know this gps i'm not i'm just telling you how to get the most out of it i'm trying to tell you that this GPS serves me very well, and I'm gonna. It serves me a whole lot better than going spending another seven hundred dollars on a Zumo and hanging it off my freaking my handlebars here. So I take it for what it is, and uh, I'm very happy with it thus far. Um, you know, we'll see. Uh, we'll we'll see in the long run. You know, if I run into any kind of prob mechanical problems. Um, I didn't buy a Honda uh, hoping to get into mechanical problems. I bought a Honda because I just want to change the oil in it, put gas in it, and go. Uh, you don't know the thing that about this motorcycle that's really not discussed. And previous Goldwing owners don't talk about it. But the power of this motorcycle is pretty unbelievable. This bike hauls ass, um, and if it, and it, you know, I ride in tour mode, and you know, if I want to pass a car, I just use the thumb thing to drop down a gear, and then just or two gears, whatever, whatever's needed. 
but you put this bike in sport mode, you better be hanging on. I'm just telling you right now, this bike, it goes. Um, can it outrun a previous generation Goldwing? I don't know. I've never, I've never tried, but I'm just telling you right now, as far as the um, performance of this motorcycle is pretty incredible. All right, here's some other things that, like, you know, Honda, when they put out a software update, they don't really follow it up with, like, any kind of, like, th th this goes on the dislike, <laughs> you know, it's the dislike-like column. Um, they're not very intuitive, or they don't really, I like the fact that, you know, with a new generation Goldwing, you get 10 years of map updates, software updates, etc. Um, free. But that's a big plus. And, uh, but there's certain things that when they release software, they just give you like a summary of what it is instead of actually telling you how to use it. Like for instance, right? The one kind of gripe that I had with the GPS is that, you know, you'd either get like arrive, it, it shows you the, like I'm gonna end this route, this part of this route in f four minutes and 2.6 miles. Well, you gotta kind of do a little mental math to go like what time, what time on the clock is it gonna be when I get there? But if you go in, you push down your enter button and now you're in the main, and then you use your up arrow, keep going your up arrow until that is highlighted and then hit your enter button. And that now changes to ETA. So I'll be there at 10, 8, 10 18, and uh, my arrival distance is 2.2 miles. Now that I kind of like. Um, but it's those little kind of features that when they do a software release, Honda is not too good about like telling you what you get, and you're, and until you stumble upon it, you know, it's kind of hard to figure out like, oh, you know, they didn't give you anything. Um, so that that kind of goes on the on the my what I don't like, but I also like what I got, you know, uh, so. It's kind of a wash. <laughs> All right, so I'm picking up a little more rain than I'd actually like to pick up. Okay, my other gripe um, with this motorcycle, because I just encountered it, is um, the gas situation, the fill up. Not necessarily the range of the bike. So I found that, uh, you know, my Massanutten trip with my friend, he's on a 2017 Honda Goldwing. He has a bigger tank. But as far as like our need to go, you know, hit the gas pump to fill up was about the same. Um, so within, you know, 50 miles or so, um, the range of the previous Gold Wing and the new Gold Wing is about the same. Um, being that he has a larger tank and I have a smaller tank, this bike is more fuel efficient, but. Um, and it's got a shorter range. But that's not my real gripe with this. It's it's to access this fuel door. Um, I don't know what Honda was thinking. Like, you know, the side panel, side door here, you have to push a button to open that. And then you have to push another button to pop this fuel lid. Then you gotta remember to close that door. Then you gotta fill up and then, you know, close up. Now. And I'll also say this, filling up, gassing up this motorcycle, it could have been a lot better. The mechanism that they use to escape expanding fuel and expanding air in the tanks, it's, uh, it's not really fill up friendly, if you will. It, uh, it's, if, you get, if you pull up to a gas station that's got one of these kind of pumps where you you grab the handle and it's just like, you know, full blast, pump, you know, gas coming out. Uh, you're going to, gas is coming out of the top of your fuel neck.
But that's another minor gripe. So that is my 10,000 mile review to this point. I'm very happy with the motorcycle, as I, I think I already said. Um, now I'm going to finish this out before I conclude this video with a little bonus. I, I haven't posted a um, video for a couple weeks now because um, I went on vacation with my two boys. My, my oldest boy, um, you've probably seen him in some videos. He's 22 and rides with me. And then my other son, is uh, he's in college in New Jersey, and um, he's 19. And we went on vacation together in Colorado. We've been there before. Um, and with uh, the pandemic, the COVID, and wildfires, four of them to be exact, in Colorado, it kind of boxed us in as far as what we can see what we can do. I mean, we went, you know, top of Pikes Peak. We went and saw the Black Canyon. We stayed in the uh, eastern side of Colorado, just north of Colorado Springs. Um, but the one thing that I, I've been to Colorado on vacation twice. The one thing that I do notice is the roads because I think to myself, oh my gosh, like look at these roads. That is on my bucket list to do, um, to ride Colorado, uh, roads such as like Route 50, um, there, there, there's some, pick, pick any road in Colorado other than like a main highway, uh, and you got a good motorcycle road. I mean, like the best you've probably ever ridden, um, except for you West Coast guys. I just thought I'd mention that. Um, all right, folks, I'm going to, I got about an hour and 20 minutes to get home and uh, I'm gonna conclude this video by saying thanks for watching and if you um, like what you see please subscribe and uh, click the like button and leave a comment and I will comment on your comment all right thanks for watching folks